Hi, welcome to the Future of the Browser Conference Lightning Talk. This is Time Machines, how we all became time travelers this decade. My name is Chris Dancy. If you go to Google right now and put in two words, most connected, I will pop right up. Warning, this entire Lightning Talk is gonna be difficult for the temporally sensitive. I have a little bit of a coming out to do to you for you today. You see, I'm not just the world's most connected person. I'm a time traveler. I, don't, don't get get caught up in this. I'm actually a time scout and time scouts are real. We've got a handbook just like regular scouts, merit badges. Heck, we have a store we can shop at where you can buy leeches, dual kits, and of course we had masks long before any of you guys. I met Amber Case in 2012 at Cyborg Camp and Cyborg Camp blew my mind because that allowed me to come out as Cyborg and share something I had secretly been working on at that point for five years. You see, for five years, I had been using technology to capture, record, and quantify every moment of my day and put it in my Google Calendar. The calendar, the original piece of time travel software that we all got to use. But since the Cyborg Camp, almost a decade later, a lot has changed in my life. Probably the biggest thing is I went from being single to marrying the man of my dreams, Fernando. This day changed my life because it made me start thinking about time in a much different way. No longer could I think about me, I had to think about we. And when you think about two people and time travel, it becomes much different because the systems need to not only look at you and your spouse and your family, but your entire life, your friends, your possessions, even your pets. But more importantly, that system had to allow me to create a way that my spouse or my family or even my friends could interact with me at any point in time. So my system today allows us to browse our entire lives via a map, or a very ornate complex calendar. It's not just my thinking though. We all are innately time travelers because our brains are time traveling. Our brains allow these signals to go through and to almost every cell in our body telling us when to eat, when to sleep, when to rest. Our brains are remarkable things that allow us to time travel even when we don't want to. But it's more than our brains. Our lives have become time travelers. It's not just my calendar that became so elaborate. Ben Franklin had an elaborate calendar. Today, families, when they go on vacations, have elaborate calendars and when they're planning. And it's all coming from our devices. Our devices are time machines. In fact, all technology is a time machine. Whether you go back and look at the original Google Glass that allowed you to swipe to the future or to the past, or you're the Apple Watch, which allows you today to move through time and see everything from where you are on earth to where you are in the solar system. It's remarkable. And finally, some of the most provocative things from Google Street Views that allows you to browse cities in different times to Google Earth that shows the radical effects of climate change. All technology is teaching us to think about time in a much more different way. I call this time collapse. Think about the technology and apps you use and how they change your perception of time. I believe the future of the browser looks a lot like my calendar, but much more radical. Not only do we have our days and weeks, but we have our appointments and we have everything we value that we're focusing on today, the habits that we did in the past, our cultural heritage, all the way up to the universal things that haven't changed and including through the future. These future calendars, this browser of the future, will allow us to see and explore so much more about who we are, other cultures, and other people. I believe the browser of the future will be something that will allow us to provocatively explore everything we believe and value. But more importantly, hopefully one day it will allow us to see the actual future and change so many things. Thank you so much for coming to my lightning talk, and I'll see you in the future.